One of the things that comes with the steam oven, uh, the plumbed unit, is a water test kit. You want to determine prior to install if you have hard water because if a hard water registers according to the use and care over seven, you may want to install a descaling system. So what we're going to do is just following our little directions here. Each drop should determine our water hardness. Let's try two and let's see how that looks. It's yellowish, but we want to go for, according to this, a nice yellow. There's three. Yeah, that looks pretty yellow right there. So my water hardness level is a three. Okay, a couple of the things that come with the steam oven. This is going to be a filter for the inside, our solid pan, perforated pan, the rack, cleaning cartridges, and the water test kit. Now, a lot of times folks ask me, do you always have to use these pans? No. That's what you have the rack for. So if you have a particular dish you're reheating or baking in a casserole that fits in that pan, there you go. You can also fit in half-size commercial sheet pans in the steam oven. So now that it's installed, we've tested our water. Uh, just make certain that you take away any packing materials, any plastic that covers the unit. As we open this up prior to powering, I can set in my little vent for the bottom floor. This will capture anything that obviously spills past the pans or in baking during a rinse cycle. You want to capture that so it doesn't clog your drain line. Okay, when you first power it up, um, you can select your appropriate language. And we can just scroll through the dial. And find out what language we want to speak today. As you can see, it's pretty extensive. Select our language. Now we can go through our time format. Set it at 24 hour AM PM. And set our time. It's good to learn how to do this because in the event your power goes down, you're gonna have to reset your clock. So the next going through our cycles here, we have our temperature. Um, water filter is available. I'm not using filtered water. So it's not available. Water hardness. We're going to turn this down to, in my test, I had a three. Okay, so the initial so, uh, setup is complete. Now it has to calibrate. So if I want to go back into my settings, we can find obviously scroll through these at your leisure, but we're going to go in and find the date and we're going to edit that. So that's our format. So now, when we power it up, it's a good way to test, make certain our water and everything works. So 
So now upon setup, I'm going to calibrate. So again, if we go back into our settings menu and then just scroll to find calibration. Remove accessories. I don't have anything in it. Calibration's pre-selected at 20 minutes. We'll hit play to get it rolling. And it's a great way to first set up your steam mode. Okay, now the calibration's complete. So we'll just check that, stop that, go back to zero to power it down, and now your steam oven is ready to go. Now, one of the things is your oven, you just, in this case, I just calibrated, but let's say you just cooked something, you steam some vegetables or poached some fish, and now your interior is a little wet. If we go into our little settings menu here, we can scroll through and find a drying program. And if we just power through this, this will automatically dry down the interior of your steam oven.